Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. And today we are reviewing three more figures from Stan Solo. On the left we have the A-Wing pilot. In the middle we have General Lando Calrissian. And on the right we have the Imperial Dignitary. Now these are all retro versions of the last 17 figures. And as with all of uh, Chris's figures, they are really nicely made. So let's take a closer look at them and I'm going to compare them to the vintage originals that I have in my collection. First up we have the A-Wing pilot. Now, now the A-Wing pilot is uh, one of the last 17 figures and it's actually quite a hard one to come by. I think over the years I've only actually managed to find two to add to my collection. So this one on the right is a vintage original A-Wing pilot and the one on the left is a retro version as created by Stan Solo. So let's take a closer look at that figure. As you can see he comes with this tiny little blaster. These are the sort of blasters that I pretty much instantly lost as a child so uh, it's amazing that any of them have survived. Uh, and this is a nice recreation of that tiny little blaster. I think it's the same one that the uh, indoor version of Leia holds. As you can see it is tiny and very easily lost. Uh, but then we have the main figure and as you can see he comes in this nice sort of, I'm going to say it's sort of camo coloured green uh, jumpsuit. On the back of it you can see that the uh, copyright information has been replaced so it now says SS on there. And all the detail of this figure has come across really very nicely. He's got a very minimal paint application to the main parts of his body. So he's got black boots, uh, flesh coloured hands and then this little bit of a sort of uh, jacket in black there with some silver on the front. Uh, when we come to the face you can see there is some fine detail on there. The uh, head is actually made out of a sort of brown plastic with the pink part of his face painted on and then tiny little eyes painted on top of that and a bit of grey and a bit of black around the edges of it. It's a really nice uh, copy of the original. If I bring in my original one here you'll often see that these originals have the noses rubbed off and the paint on the top of them rubbed away so it's nice to be able to get one that as you can see doesn't have any of that damage to it. And if I hold them up together when we compare them you can see that it is really is a very good copy of it. I think my vintage original one here actually has a little bit of sun damage to it so as well as the uh, paint rubs on him uh, the green part of his outfit has got a slight yellow colour which is uh, why it looks slightly different to the one from Stan Solo. But otherwise these are very good copies indeed. Uh, if I was going to be overly picky on this which I've sort of been saying on the last few reviews I think the face is possibly a little bit thinner on the Stan Solo version but that really is quite minor. Otherwise as you can see it's a very good recreation of the, the last 17 A-Wing pilot. Next we come on to General Lando Calrissian as you see him in Return of the Jedi. Now this is one figure I've actually only got a fairly sort of rough version of in my collection. This is the uh, vintage original one that I have here and as you can see he's uh, fairly yellowed and uh, sort of battered on his body and the cape on this is not original because I've uh, almost never seen uh, an original cape for sale uh, separately. So uh, this is my original figure and this is the Stan Solo recreation as you can see. It really does look quite nice and this is the first time I've ever had one that looks this good just because um, they just seem to always turn up a bit damaged like that. So as you can see he comes with a palace type blaster so that's the one there. It's got a bit of a long barrel to it and that fits quite nicely in his hand. He also comes with this cape. I think uh, Stan Solo are actually selling this cape as a separate thing. So if you have a vintage original one like I do here and don't have the cape for it you can buy the cape separately. Uh, I've seen other uh, sort of uh, reproduction capes for sale over the years and they do it wrong uh, because the original uh, Lando cape is actually sewn at the front. A lot of the reproductions that people sell on eBay don't have that bit sewn. They just cut a hole in a piece of fabric. That's not correct. So I know Chris has paid uh, close attention to how these capes are made and has done it properly with a little bit of sewing there on the front. If we take a closer look at the figure you can see we have uh, Lando there. He's got little bits of paint detailing on him so we have some silver on his lapels there, a little silver badge on the front and then you can see he's got a gun holster that goes all the way around the back and some nice shiny black boots. If we compare this to my original one here, I'll just bring that in, you can see it really is a very good recreation of this figure. As I say my original one is a bit on the yellowed side and a bit worn. There's quite a lot of paint uh, sort of gone missing on his holster there but you can see if he wasn't yellowed that would be a very good uh, copy of it. And as I say this cape on my one is one that I uh, made a long time ago. In fact I have a video showing you how to make your own Lando uh, general cape so I'll put a link to that at the end of this video if you want to do it for yourself. But as you can see yeah that's a very nice copy of uh, this uh, vintage figure. If we turn it over again I will show you on the back of his leg you can see it says SS where the original copyright information would have been has been replaced with the SS. And I don't actually show you this on sort of most of the figures. It 
does have the same articulation as all of the uh, vintage ones. I sort of have given up showing you that because I assume if you know Star Wars figures, you know that the articulation is five points of articulation. You can rotate the head, you can rotate the arms, and you can rotate the legs. That is all the articulation that these vintage figures have. I don't show it on every figure because basically it's the same every single time. And if we look at the bottom of his feet, you can also see there are holes there where you can plug that into different parts of different play sets. But the figure itself, as you can see, looks incredibly nice and it's really nice to be able to finally have one that I can put on display that actually looks like the figure should have done, doesn't have the uh, yellow chest that I have there and also has the correct cape because uh, this one that I made here is the wrong colour. It's a bit too light and a little bit too shiny but it was the closest I could get to the material. So I think I may end up buying another one of these uh, reproduction capes just so I can put it onto this Lando so he looks a little bit better than he does at the moment. But on the whole I think this one may end up in my uh, main display as it is. And finally for this review we have the Imperial Dignitary. One of those blink and you miss it sort of characters. He's seen very briefly in the background in a few shots on the second Death Star in Return of the Jedi. Now this one on the left is my original uh, sort of vintage version of the dignitary. He's a strange figure, he doesn't come with any accessories, he's made all out of purple and he looks a lot like uh, the Emperor so he's got these sort of big thick legs that have a sort of skirt built in. Now if you collect uh, vintage figures you'll know that the Imperial dignitary is almost impossible to get without a rub on his nose. You can see here this one the end of his nose has rubbed off so it's really nice to be able to get a, a newer version of the Imperial dignitary that doesn't have that rub on his nose. Now I will say about this figure this is a second it's not one I bought direct from Chris at Stan Solo. He had a few seconds that had some blemishes and a bits of wrong with them that he sold to someone else and I bought this off eBay because he, uh, Chris didn't have any in stock when I wanted to get one so this isn't a perfect version of the figure. Uh, it actually has a tiny little rub above his nose so not on the end of the nose but you can see some paint has not been applied properly. If you buy the originals from uh, Stan Solo then uh, it won't have any of these uh, problems because I know Chris is very careful about what he sells so uh, this as I say is a second it's not a perfect example but I wanted to get it just so I could film this video. So as you can see it is a good uh, recreation of the figure. Uh, the copyright information on this one I can't actually remember where it is it might be inside the leg it is so if I show you this is the original figure in fact the original figure doesn't have any copyright information. Oh it does, there you go, it's on the right leg and on the Stan Solo version it appears to be on the left leg, you can just about see SS printed there and the right leg is blank. This is an old figure, it's one that I never particularly wanted to have in my collection but over the years I've actually ended up picking up three of the vintage ones now because uh, I've sort of put them with my Imperial Army so I have Darth Vader and the Emperor and I've got a couple of these guys sort of standing behind him. Uh, it's just an old one. I don't recall this character uh, sort of ever appearing particularly in Return of the Jedi. I only know about him from getting the figure and sort of researching him sort of over the years and looking up where you see him. So you see him and a few other different Imperial dignitaries sort of hanging around with the Emperor. So well, it's a, a bit of an odd one but it's really nice that Chris has uh, made this version for Stan Solo because I know a lot of people do like to have uh, sort of all of these older figures and it's uh, nice to be able to get another one of these into people's collections because certainly over the last few years uh, last 17 figures the prices on them have been rising and rising so even figures like this that used to be quite cheap to pick up are now getting more and more expensive so I think uh, for many people the Stan Solo option is the one that they'll go with because it's considerably cheap than trying to track down an original one especially if you want one that doesn't have a rub on his nose. So there we go that's it for this review we've got uh, three new figures from Stan Solo. I know he has more stuff in production in fact I've seen recently he's just put up an image of uh, the Lando Calrissian in screen accurate clothing because the colours used on this figure are not the same as the colours worn by uh, Lando Calrissian in Return of the Jedi. So what Chris has done is taking this figure and repainted it so that it will match the uh, shots that you see of Lando in the movie. He has blue trousers and different colour outfit and a different colour cape. I think that's a really nice thing to do because a lot of people like to do dioramas especially with their vintage figures and some of these figures really don't uh, match what you see in the movie. So to be able to take something that is 
almost there and actually turn it into uh, the correct version I think is a really nice thing to do so uh, as soon as that figure is out I will uh, get one and I will review that as well because I think it's going to be a nice addition to anyone's collection and I really like the fact that Chris takes the effort to make custom versions of these figures and sort of does things like that fixes the colors and does different variants of them if you've uh, checked out some of my other reviews of his work you'll have seen all the sort of things he's done especially with Astro make droids and protocol droids he's done all sorts of custom versions of those in different colors and different stickers and that and they really do look amazing so I'm going to be quite excited when the screen accurate version of uh, General Lando Calrissian comes out if you've enjoyed this video then why not hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video and thanks for watching Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.